Can you ever own your home completely free and clear? Let's answer it specifically to DFW, state of Texas. Sure. Okay, no, sure. the answer is no. Would you like to know why? Yes. So you got a mortgage. Let's just say you bought a $500,000 house and you put 20% down. And so you had a $400,000 mortgage. Good math. Okay. And over 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, five years, 10 minutes, doesn't matter. You paid it off. Do you own the home free and clear? Technically speaking, yes. You don't own any, you don't owe any more principal on the loan or any more interest <laughs> on the loan. But here's the problem. You will owe property taxes on that forever. So you don't have debt on it, but you are not in complete control of it if you don't pay those property taxes. As a matter of fact, you ever see the late night infomercials that are like, I bought this home for $1,911 and made half a million and everyone wants to get into buying tax lien property. That means someone did not pay their taxes and the government put a lien on it, like a, a hold against it until they were paid. And if they weren't paid, someone could buy that and all they had to do was pay off the taxes that were owed. These deals are very, 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 very rare. Almost nobody on planet earth does a bunch of them all the time as a full-time job. They're rare that somebody would give up that amount of equity over just a tax bill, but it does happen. The point I'm making though is, yes, you're technically free and clear from the mortgage loan you had on it, but you will always and forever have to pay those property taxes. And if you don't, you'll lose your house. So in that regard, the way you should think about it financially is you can minimize your financial burden on your home as low as you can possibly control by not having a more, not having a loan on it. But you will always have the property tax burden and that property tax burden, if you're not careful, can cause you to lose your home. So in that regard, you are never 100% free and clear of a financial burden tied to your home. You can never, ever, ever in the state of Texas live in that home at no cost whatsoever. You'll never be like, completely finished spending money to live in that home. And that sounds really, really daunting. But in our state, that is one of the major ways that we fund city, county, school district services. So in some regard, it makes sense. In theory, it's, it's supposed to be fair, but that is the way it is.